Today, Parallels released Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac, and one has to wonder, after all these new versions since 2006, what possibly could they do to make this program even better than it already is? So let's take a look and see if this is really a worthy upgrade. One of the hallmark features that made Parallels Desktop for Mac lead the Mac virtualization space over VMware and VirtualBox has always been their seamless integration with Windows. With version 9, they've added some great features such as the Real Start menu, windowed Metro apps, and access to shared drives. Now version 10 further melds Windows into the Mac beyond what you might have even thought possible. If we look at Outlook running on my dock, notice how I have the counter like you see on typical maps such as Mail or Messenger. Now when I go back to the dock, also notice that my Windows VM now runs like an app. And if I click on it, look how the Windows 8 Start menu now looks like OS X Launchpad. How cool is that? Next, if I go into Microsoft Word, now I can add my shared Mac drives as places within Microsoft Office. Clicking on Add a Place allows me to add my Dropbox, iCloud Drive, or Google OneDrive directly into my places. If I go over to Internet Explorer and select some text, I can now right-click on my mouse and share that to my internet and social media accounts. Going back into Windows, I can now drag and drop a file between Windows and iCloud Drive or explore the drive with Windows Explorer. One of the game-changer features of Yosemite, in my mind, is continuity. If you're not familiar with this feature, it is one that allows you to make and receive calls from your Mac as long as your iPhone is on the same wireless network. Going back over to Internet Explorer, if I find a phone number on a web page, I can right-click on it and call this number right from within Windows. Another cool feature Apple touted within Yosemite was a more refined notification center with a new Today tab. Well, with Parallels Desktop 10, you now have instant access to your running VMs and how many Mac resources the VM is using. If these integration and Yosemite features weren't enough, Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac continues to innovate in many other areas too. Firstly, I can now virtualize Mac OS X Mavericks, Mountain Lion, and Lion. New hardware support has even been added for 3 plus button mice for graphic professionals and gamers. The Parallels Desktop Control Center has also seen a complete overhaul and now has the ability to start or stop a VM, configure its settings, or even see if antivirus is installed on the virtual machine. New to Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac are now pre-configured settings that you can select for your Windows Virtual Machine based on the applications you expect to use. The idea here is to take the guesswork out of configuring your Virtual Machine for optimal performance. For those of us tech geeks or power users, Parallels still provides all the customization features that we've come accustomed to. So you can tweak the Virtual Machine settings to your heart's content, Plus, if things get squirrely, you now have a new feature to restore defaults button to bring all settings back to defaults. To help keep your virtual machine in top performance, Parallels Desktop 10 introduces the new Free Up Space Wizard. From here, I can easily clean up old snapshots and see how much space is being used for resume and shutdowns, space available to reclaim, and cache file usage. For the developer community, Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac now supports nested virtual machines for Linux guests, and the ability to install a free 90-day modern IE test environment. By just using the built-in Virtual Machine Wizard, you can now download a pre-configured 90-day version of Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. Finally, Parallels did not ignore performance and claim they have accomplished the following of this release. Up to 30% better battery life, 60% faster snapshot creation, 50% faster document opens, and each VM now uses 10% less Mac memory. While there are even more features within Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac, I can't help but stop and draw comparisons between Apple's OS X Yosemite and this release. Yosemite represents a significant advancement across many levels of their OS from Apple. Parallels Desktop 10 feels the same way to me. This is one of those releases you cannot afford to miss. If there was any doubt Parallels could not further innovate a mature product, well, think again. I hope you liked this review of Parallels Desktop 10 for Mac.